everyone, my name is Caitlin and I'm the Managing Marine Biologist here at the Sheraton Resort, Full Moon Resort and Spa here in the Maldives. Um, I work for a company called Reefscapers and this is where we do our work from and we have partnered with the Sheraton Resort. We've been based here for about four and a half years now, um, building these coral frames, restoring the coral reefs around the island. So this here is how we do our work. You can see here we have a metal frame. It's made out of metal rebar and it's been dipped in resin and sand. So there's about two to three millimeters of thickness of sand on here uh, for a few reasons. So when we throw this into the ocean, it's going to blend in with its environment because um, it's going to be sitting on the sand in the ocean floor. It's also a really good substrate for the coral to grow on and it also stops the frame from rusting, which is exactly what we want if our frames are going to be in the water for quite some time. How do we do this? Um, what we do is we get small little coral fragments about this size and we stick them on the frame like so and we would fill this frame with little coral fragments. So this frame would hold 41 coral fragments. So we attach on the coral onto all of these bars just here and then we then throw it into the ocean just here behind me. And just behind me, we also have a coral restoration site. So this is where all of our frames go, or at least most of our frames go. We have quite a lot of frames at the minute, so it's a lot of work. We have about 650 plus frames in the water at the minute. Lots of corals are growing, um, which is great, all thanks to our partnership with the Sheraton, Maldives, and also our sponsors at the resort and internationally. So what, how we run this project is that we have some guests that come to the resort and they can sponsor their own coral frame. So this project is called Adopt a Coral. So you can adopt your own coral frame. This would involve guests coming to meet myself, have a discussion with um, a marine biologist on site, build their own coral frame, experience what they're doing, why we do this project, throw it back into the ocean, and they can also come snorkeling with us afterwards to see the coral restoration site. So this is really nice. We also, every six months, we go back out and we take pictures of the coral frame for our sponsor. So people really love this, and it's a really nice way for our guests and our sponsors to watch their corals growing, which is exactly what they're doing. Sheraton brought us on about four and a half years ago, which was a really great partnership. You know, it's no secret that our coral reefs are facing a lot of threats um, at the minute and they are dying and they are stressed and they are suffering. Um, unfortunately, just due to natural events that a lot of the natural reefs around the world, not just Maldives, but around the world have been lost. And um, so with that, we lose our fish, we lose our sharks, we lose all of our marine life. So Sheraton brought us on um, to increase the coral cover around the island. And in turn, we have brought all the new fish and all the marine life. We won't have any of our fish, our rays, our sharks, turtles um, around the island without our coral reefs as they provide a habitat, um, nursery sites, food for all of our marine life. So they're really, really important. They support 25% of marine life. Sounds like a small number, but it's a huge, huge number. Thousands and thousands of species of marine life really rely on our corals. So it's really important that we try to keep our corals alive and that we fight for our coral reefs. They are often underlooked um, and they're a lot more important than people may think, not just for our marine life, but for us um, on land as well. You know, corals support our ecosystem, increase fish biodiversity as well. So they support our tourism, you know, we wouldn't have any snorkel sites or scuba sites if it wasn't for our corals as well. So tourism and um, our biodiversity, our fishing industry, it supports local communities. And um, so coral reefs are really, really important more than people may think. And we definitely do need them and we need to support them. So we're very happy that Sheraton Maldives have partnered with us and are pay playing a role, playing a role in that part to support our coral reefs um, in the world, but specifically in the Maldives. Fossil fuels play a huge part in the emissions that go out um, and this increases global warming. Unfortunately, we are increasing a lot of global warming, which is affecting our coral reefs today. And um, we recently had a huge coral bleaching event um, worldwide, not just in Maldives, which affected our corals and corals worldwide are really, really stressed. Um, so we're very, we're very lucky that we can be here and we can try to be part of the the mission to protect them um, as much as we can. But increased global warming is increasing the water temperature in the water and our corals get really, really stressed. They don't like this water temperature being too high. Um, so we need the water temperature to cool down for them to be healthy and for them to be their healthiest to support our marine life and the further ecosystem as well. So it's really important that we look a little bit more into our fossil fuel emission um, and try to do the best we can in that, in that area. 
it's a little bit easier said than done, you know, as single individuals. It's more the larger companies that we kind of really need to rely on to make bigger moves in their emissions. Um, but we just have to hope for change and keep, keep voicing for the corals.